Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I got my fifth Hisfits Toroli. I have five of them now. That's, that's lucky number five. Am I gonna stop? Probably for now, because I've gotten three within the... Now three weeks that I've been... No. How long have I been back for England? Like a week? Two weeks? Two weeks. Two weeks, right? Three? I don't know. But yeah, this is my fifth Hisfits Torali. I bought her on Mercari. And before I even found the listing, two people had commented on the listing like, yo, somebody tell Courtly. So um, I'm glad you guys think of me every time you see a single listing for this doll on Mercari. <laughs> she has a really good face, actually. Compared to some of my other ones, I think her eye placement is pretty good. Like, obviously, her right eye is a bit smaller than the left. But I like the way her eyes are kind of upturned. You know, it kind of makes her look like happy. I like her. So, um, yeah, this is my main one. This is the one with the nose chip. This is my most, this had been my most recent one. This one was gifted to me. This one I just purchased on Mercari. And this is the one that I bought from my friend. And then the one that is smelly, but not anymore because she aired out while I was in England, thank God, is up on my Toro eye shelf. What am I gonna do with the other ones? I don't know yet. And also, I might buy a nude one from my friend. What would I do with a nude His Fits Torali? Again, I don't know. I didn't plan this. I just, I just keep, I keep getting her. Anyway, in other news, other than five His Fits Torali's, why did I buy a fifth one? Um, I wanted to look for more stuff to get rid of. <laughs> I figure I'm in need of a little bit of a purge around here. I know I just did one in my last video. So this isn't going to be the whole focus, but... While I am rambling and stuff, I am going to be looking for stuff I don't need anymore. So, um, yeah, if I suddenly go off topic and say, oh, I'll get rid of that, that's why. Starting over here, I'm kind of considering getting rid of Lavender. She was a bit of an impulse purchase that I don't feel like I need, so to be honest, I might get rid of her. I'm also thinking about getting rid of my extra Daphne, but probably won't. Again, I like Daphne, so we're just going to get her some clothes. She needs some clothes. I hate that she has no pants. I need to give her some pants. As cute as I think this Ainsley is, she does have some pretty intense body staining around the legs. Her legs are very stained. So I feel like I should sell her. The main reason I've kept her is because of the hairstyle, but I think I could do this myself, you know? These two little braids make a cute little heart on each side. She has pigtails. That's all I really need to do. I think I could do that. I got like two Ainsleys somewhere. So I might sell my extra Ainsley. Not with the clothes though. I need, I need the clothes. Also, I got a bin to keep the stuff I'm selling in. See, it's finally a bit more orderly right here. So, um, hold on, I gotta rearrange some stuff. Oh yeah, Abby's on, Abby's on hold. I forgot about that, okay. Sometimes I think about getting rid of my G1 dolls. Not all of them, obviously. Just the ones that I'm not really that big a fan of. Because, like, I have a ton of dolls, as you guys know. I make it very clear in every video because I'm always showing my shelves. But sometimes I feel like I have dolls that I'm not attached to. Like, I'll look through my shelves and I can easily pick out some that I don't really give a shit about. For example, this Laguna. Don't really like her. And now I have one in the box. So what use is she to me out of the box? Also, are her pigtails getting crushed by her helmet? I should check that. The answer is yes, they were completely smashed against her head. Why did I make her wear her helmet? She has such a cute hairstyle. <laughs> Damn it, okay. It looks like it's pretty simple. It's just like little buns. I could easily redo that. Or I could just put her helmet on and forget this ever happened. But yeah, the main reason I wanna get rid of more stuff is for the sake of shelf space. And I know, I just need another shelf, but I don't have space for it. Trust me. I've tried, I have nowhere I can put this set. If I move this, there's a window right here, so I can't block the window with a doll shelf. That's just not practical. So I'm just kind of still struggling with space. So yeah, all I can really do is pick out a few things here and there to make space and then immediately fill it up with dolls that I actually want, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
it's just hard for me to pick stuff to sell. When I only have one of something, I feel like I need to keep it. You know, like, even if I don't really like the doll, like this Alyssa bat down here. It's my least favorite Alyssa bat, but I still have her. I got her on sale at Target for $5, like, several years ago. So, I'm keeping her. Which is kind of cool. Okay, I don't hate her that much, I guess. Forgot I had this pony to sell. Just gonna put her down here in the things I need to list pile. I'm also trying to decide what to do with these two brats that I got yesterday. Well, not yesterday, it was over the weekend. But I really like this Yasmin, so I think I'm definitely going to keep her. Just something about the old screening really resonates with me. I like her a lot, she's very nostalgic, and the outfit is cute. I think you guys confirmed this is Express It Yasmin, so I was correct in my initial assumption. How long have I had that jade head for? She needs a body. I've just had her sitting there for ever. Hmm. I am seriously thinking about it, but also I kind of like this Megan screening in a weird way. It's charming because this is the same screening that Campfire Dana uses. And Bratz only use this screening a very small number of times. So every time I see it, I'm like, oh, it's so ugly in the weirdest way imaginable. You know, like I like it. They always make the eyes look so different than usual with this specific screening. Like Megan's eyes were never this color again. Similar to how Dana, I don't think ever had purple eyes ever again. Point is, it's a cute screening and that's kind of why I like this doll as much as I do. So I think, I think I'm just gonna keep both of them. For now, I might change my mind. I've also had this Tiana here for a while. Not Tiana, this is Maylin. <laughs> Maylene. I have to get her an outfit. Uh, Zombie Corn styled her hair gorgeously for me before gave, like giving her to me. So I wanna get her a nice outfit. I've just kind of had her wearing whatever for a while, but I do genuinely need to style her in something cute. I just don't know what to give her. Whoa, okay, don't fall down. Um, we're just gonna sit her here for now until I can get her something cute. I have tons of Bratz clothes here. Harper is just blocking it with her hair, so if you don't mind uh, stepping aside. Yeah, I've got tons of Bratz clothes in there. Even more in this thing. It's just, it just comes down to like the struggle of trying to decide what I want the doll to wear most of the time, you know? Like I just can't make up my mind. It's also just a general issue of like, Maylene is from a very specific line where the dolls are dressed in very like traditional kimono, like, kimonos, you know? <laughs> so she's got all these like cute little ornate flowers and like beads in her hair. I feel like I can't just put her in anything with this hairstyle and all these accessories in her hair. Like I feel like it needs to be something cultural, but I don't have anything like that for her. So it just brings me back to square one of not knowing what to put her in. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas, feel free to recommend something because I got nothing in my little tiny peanut walnut of a brain. It's a walnut and a peanut, so it's extra small. I kind of want to ramble about Ninjago again. You guys don't mind if I do that, do you? You guys seem to engage with the Ninjago conversation whenever I have it. Okay, so the Ninjago conversation. I watched the rebooted season recently, and I don't remember if I talked about it in a video, but that's season three. So right after what was supposed to be the end of the show in season two. Um, wow, season three was incredible. Again, I don't remember if I've talked about this on my channel, but it was just so good. The worst part about it was the love triangle stuff. They tried to force this love triangle thing between uh, Nia, Jay, and Cole. Uh, not Jay, my girlfriend, Jay, the lightning ninja from, from Ninjago. It's really confusing because I'm watching the show with my girlfriend, Jay. So every time the name comes up, I'm like, uh, ooh, my brain gets all confused basically, you know? <laughs> so yeah, but basically what happens with that is that in the first episode of the season, Nia like goes up to like this love compatibility thing and it says her perfect match is Cole. And that just kind of like, shakes her faith in Jay, I guess. So she just starts like flirting with Cole kind of, and Cole has no idea what's going on. The directors of the show, the writers confirm that Cole has no idea what's going on. So that's why he was like playing into it, I guess. I guess he was just trying to mess with Jay. He thought it was a joke or something. And then Jay gets mad at Cole over it when he should be mad at Nia. And like, I love Nia. She's my favorite character from the show, but it was so stupid. Me and Jay, every time it 
my girlfriend Jay, me and um, I'm just gonna say my girlfriend, me and my girlfriend, every time I hopped up, we were like, this is the worst part of the season because the rest of the season is so good. It's very Zane centric. Um, has a lot to do with technology, obviously. So it makes sense that the Nindroid, as he's called, because he's he's a robot and also a ninja, so they call him a Nindroid, like an android and a ninja. It's how much of a loser do I sound like talking about all this shit? How much? Tell me. Be honest. But yeah, I don't want to spoil how the season ends. I really feel like more people should watch um, the season rebooted, as it's called, for yourself, because it's a really good season. But overall, it's probably my favorite of the show so far. Um, the Overlord sucks as a villain. I just liked everything else about the season. Like, it was just a really strong season. It was interesting to me. And I liked that Zane had so much focus. He's definitely my favorite ninja, though Cole is up there as well. Cole and, Cole and Zane are really funny. So, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys for listening to me yap about Ninjago. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will yap about season four because I'm gonna be watching that with Jay tonight. Once again, my girlfriend, not the ninja from Ninjago. I do not have the ninja from Ninjago tied up in my house and I'm not forcing him to watch the show with me. I'm watching it with my girlfriend. <laughs> I just laid Roxy down on the floor. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye!